And away, how's it going? Hey, hey. Okay. Uh, Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV. Now, you've done your Amazing. share of slime time. <laughs> so lovely to finally meet you properly. Yes. You know, you've done your share of sci-fi films, but this is a film noir more likely. You know, what went to saying yes to taking the road that you have? Well, Lisa Joy and I are like Siamese twins. Um, <laughs> but we, we just have the same... We really do appreciate each other's ideas and sensibilities and, you know, have a very healthy kind of collaborative, you know... Um, energy. So we, I knew she was making a movie. I was thrilled for her, but we were shooting Westworld season three. And she was going, she had to leave early to go and make the movie. And so to suddenly get, she sent me the script, offered me the role. It was like, what are you doing? No, no, don't, no. Don't be silly. Don't be silly, Lisa. You go and find yourself the best person for the role. And she's like, yeah. I'm like, no, no, this is can't. So I was very, um, I was quite resistant to it because I love her and I didn't want to let her down. You know what I mean? I didn't want to like, I just didn't, in a way, I suppose it was like, oh God, now she's going to see my true colors or something and it's all going to go to shit. But decided to take the risk because I respect her. And if she thought, if she thinks I'm the one for her movie, then I'll do it. But it was interesting because now from this vantage point, I feel like both of us, well, me certainly, we're internalizing a stereotype of what a woman in the military should be like. Mm -hmm. but, you know, on, very, on, on not very close examination, you see that women in the military come in all shapes and sizes. It's about attitude, it's about commitment, it's, it, it's, it's about sacrifice, right? So once I freed myself up from this notion that I don't have the stature, it's like, fuck that. I can save Hugh Jackman's ass. I've saved men's lives, literally, I mean, you know, in different ways. You know, or I've fucking, I've been fierce. I've opposed all kinds of shit. You know, it's, it's not even a question in my life when I think about it, but on screen, it, it just a whole other thing comes into play. And it was very liberating. It was very liberating. And I also feel deeply proud to be able to honor women who have, you know, veterans, women who are like me, who, who might be, petite but with fire and who might have to repress all kinds of pain and shit because being in the military as a woman that is not an easy thing and no wonder she comes out and she's a you know alcoholic uh cynical woman and she's black jesus christ <laughs> black military you did it all, all going you... on man it's all going off yeah she's not damn right she's an alcoholic <laughs> You paired well with you. There's not oh, enough time yes. to ask you about your, whether or not you and Rebecca had any mission stories to share, but we could talk about that later on. Either way, There'll be know, other times. There'll be other times. It's good talking to you. It's good seeing you. Take care Great of yourself. You. And, all, and all, the, all the best. We love what you do. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.